What does it take to create a city controlled virtually from a nucleus point, making it self-sufficient? Well, at Konza Technopolis, every single amenity and facility feeds back to a central control building that has uninterrupted water and electricity and brags of Africa's first three-tired data center. Here's a backside with the details of the smart facilities at Konza Technopolis. Africa's silicon savannah boasts of many things, the main center of attraction being a world-class data center. Konza City designers say the three-tiered facility, a first of its kind in the continent, has been designed to never falter, having a steady supply of power and internet. In many projects you'd find do not have, say, um, roads that have been done to asphalt standards or water supplied right to your parcel or electricity supplied, internet supplied. Its cloud and network is maintained by three different links, one main line and two redundant fiber networks to ensure data, software and applications are never at risk of disconnection. In addition, the data center has a clear logical and physical barrier for government and private corporate projects. This, they say, would disallow any mingling of confidential data leaking to any entity. Konza Technopolis Development Authority says, besides the power lines, the Techno City is fitted with three industrial grid generators that would automatically go online in case of power outage on the national grid supply line. One beautiful thing about Konza is that we have what we call a utility tunnel. It's uh, 2.5 meters underneath the, the main highway, or what we call the outer boulevard, which you can walk in uh, and have all the pipes. So as a city, we don't expect to have all excavation going around, especially for putting up new utilities, because there's a walkable and drivable utility tunnel that one is able then to connect the different parcels through. The uh, managing of the sewage water means that we have a treatment plant for potable water, all the also electrical connections to have the functionality to guarantee the, the functionality of the future city in uh, Konza. Currently dependent on the Nolturesh borehole water supply, Konza City aims to gain direct water supply from Fouke Dam. The city projects that per day, at least 2 million litres of water will be in circulation. Whatever water is used will be repurposed through the water reclamation facility, which would provide sustenance to the Techno City's 10 million tree cover and irrigation area, supplied through underground piping. We have all the electrical conduits that run underneath the whole city within the over 200 kilometers of, of, of conduits for example within this for electrical for ICT networks fiber in particular uh, for portable water well, that's to WHO standards for drinking we have what makes Konza very unique is we have irrigation water and irrigation water is water that uh, is treated from the sewer and circulated to all parcels for used for irrigation like the the plants, uh, the water closets, because this city is designed for under sustainability, uh, a circular economy. The Konza City Master Plan has been structured to have the water treatment plant at the highest point, while the water reclamation facility at its lowest point, anchored on the science of water flow to channel any disposed water for recycling. Uh, there are various components of the projects that need to be synchronized. In the long term, we, the city is supposed to get water from Thwake Dam. So it's a core component of water supply, which is at its own stage. Um, uh, when it comes to power supply, the mm -hmm. connection by a third party, that is Ketraco, which is still ongoing. Going by the details given and the description drawn, the smart city sounds like a dream. So will it be just that, a fantasy, or will it be turned into reality? Only time will tell. Hibak Said for Prime Edition.